All right. The uh, question this time around comes from YouTube subscriber Superfiber. This is another great Superfiber question. This time the question is, when there's something you believe in, when is it right to speak up? I choose many times to stay silent to prevent conflict, and usually I accept that the other person believes in what they believe in. But are there moments where I should speak up? And the answer is yes. One of the greatest uh, prosperity teachers ever, and one of my personal heroes, Edwin Gaines, always says, tell the truth and tell it quickly. This is the key to healthy living. This is the key to walking whatever path you want to walk. This is the key to being an authentic person. And yeah, it's the key to prosperity. Tell the truth and tell it quickly. I mean, there's a baseline where every living being deserves your respect. No matter who they are, no matter what they believe in, no matter where they've been, no matter what they are to you, they deserve a certain measure of respect. And part of that respect means that every person in your life, in your world, deserves your honesty. Put another way, there's a lot of things that have happened in the history of humanity that are pretty regrettable. And a lot of them happen because somebody didn't speak up or stand up at the right time. Now, I know you're not talking about some great uh, injustice, but even the small things deserve your attention. If there's no accidents in the universe, it means you're there for a reason. And one of those reasons might just be to be a voice for truth. People deserve your truth. Your life deserves your truth. And you deserve to be the kind of person who gets to speak from their heart. So is there a right time to tell the truth? Yeah, and the time is right now. I do want to remind you that you don't just communicate with your words. If your truth is something like, hey, person X, I don't agree with you and this is a healthier way to do this and here's why we might want to do this and that and the other thing. But if what they hear by you saying it is, you're no good and I don't accept you, then you have to pay a little bit of attention to the overall message. You don't just speak with your words, you speak with your actions, you speak to the situation. And so it is worth trying to take a minute to think about the whole package. How are you communicating? And of course we can't be responsible for other people's feelings, but there's a level at which we ought to take a minute and think about if I say my truth, how am I going to be heard? How is this person going to receive the message? And maybe I need to pay attention to how I communicate. Maybe there are ways to be a loving presence with different words. Maybe there's a way to convey that message in a way that that other person can hear. We owe it to ourselves and to the other person to speak in a language that allows the message to get across. And similarly, ask yourself, well, what is true here? Do I disagree with this person or this situation because I want to get my own way? Would I rather be happy or be right? This is an age-old question, and it's a really important one. Is it that I want to communicate because I want to get my point across, or is it that I want to communicate because I am interested in healing and love and growth? Because that's the goal, to grow. So what can I say that's going to help growth happen? If there's something that you feel in your heart that's going to help people to grow, then you have an obligation, a duty to share it in the most loving way that you can. The time is now to share yourself because what you are is beautiful. Maybe you're not done growing. Who is? But here and now, there's something about you that the world deserves to hear. Speak your truth. Tell it, and tell it quickly, and tell it with love. And you can't go wrong. Thanks for the question. Thanks for being willing to stand up for what's right. By the way, thanks for sharing these uh, videos. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for playing this game with me. I can't tell you how much it means to me. Take care.